My name is Rapsley, welcome back to this thing. Um, I think I just put that down, let the trap explode, and then I should just be able to go through, right? Yeah! All right. Once the first samples were laboriously extracted from the meteor core and put under microscope, the high-ranking officials initiated the Catconut Island Research Project. Unfortunately, the project was plagued by issues from the get-go and was terminated after a terrible incident. It is still there to this day on that island, buried under tons of concrete. The Bureau then decided to start afresh, initiating the Arx Vaporum project, a platform built right above the meteor on the open sea in order to research the substance leaking out. They called it Fumium for its fume-inducing properties. It had to be isolated from the outer world to avoid potential contamination. According to them, my loyalty and leadership skills exhibited during the war made me a prime candidate to lead the Arcs. A great honor. Okay. I'm starting to see it clearly now. I'm Marcus Reich. I need a key. I'm Marcus Reich. I need a key. Oh my god, I can't... Did I just... Did I just interrupt... Once the first samples were laboriously extracted from the meteor core and put under microscope, the high-ranking officials initiated the Catconut Island Research Project. Unfortunately, the project was plagued by issues from the get-go and was terminated after a terrible incident. It is still there to this day on that island, buried under tons of concrete. The Bureau then decided to start afresh, initiating the Arx Vaporum Project. A platform built right above the meteor on the open sea in order to research the substance leaking out. They called it Fumium for its fume-inducing properties. It had to be isolated from the outer world to avoid potential contamination. According to them, my loyalty and leadership skills exhibited during the war made me a prime candidate to lead the Arcs. A great honor. I'm starting to see it clearly now. Yes! I'm Marcus Reich. The Arx Vaporum Tower Conductor. I was mandated by the Supreme Bureau to guard and lead the research on the Fumium substance that was found on the waterbed of... of Mare Vaporum. But what happened to this place? This was my home. What happened to my family? Why have I abandoned them? Maybe you were teleported away by your wife uh, after you actually tried to stop her. And the teleportation has somehow erased your memory as well. That's gonna be my operating guess. Oh, fuck. It doesn't look like it's done damage. See, the thing is, I want that to die. So that I can go behind it, rather than just blocking it off. So I'm gonna need to... Do this dance for a while. I also want the Fumium just for killing it, so... It's not... Entirely... Selfless. I mean, it's not selfless at all, in any way, shape, and or form. I was worried I was going to have to reload the area just so that I can try and get that piece of dialogue that I missed. Because I had to imagine that was going to be expository. It didn't really tell us an incredible amount that we don't know, but it did tell us more about our character's motivations. In particular, that he doesn't know them. Because he's kind of been flicking between I know everything that I forgot and I know nothing that I forgot. Secret found. Cool. Insulated treads and afflux headgear. 15% of damage taken is gained as energy plus one tech and it is just way better. And we also have the insulated treads for 15% resistance as well as 45 integrity. Excellent. So, other than the outfit, we have something special in every slot. That is heartwarming. I like it. I like that. Alright. I can hear some skill, uh, spider robots. So I have to imagine it's time to fight those. So 
just the one? I don't know why I did that. He's resistant to shock. I mean, he is shocking himself. But, hell. Resistance wasn't enough. Still got him. Okay, we've got two doors. And then this is the exit. Two doors from which to select. Alright, let's go. What's behind door number one? Sweet. My favorite. Nothing. Oh, this button. Yeah. Uh, coal. A pile of coal. Yep. Knew that's what we were fucking looking for as well. I am pleased with myself. That is going to be the boiler done. This only becomes an issue if they start appearing behind us. Now it's your turn. Did it just jump over that fire and prevent itself from taking damage? If so, well done. Ugh. There's so many keys on the si uh, same side of the keyboard that you need to hit during combat that it makes it really difficult to, you know, dance around, rotate, activate ability. Come on. Good lord. Alright, I'm gonna shoot you. Ah. I was assuming that was just gonna be you moving forwards. There we go. Alright, make sure that there's no buttons on the walls here. Another toughness fuse, we get whining. Note to loading bay workers from Alfred Mannheim, his last note. Uh, well, actually, it, it, it appears to have occurred before the previous one. Do not obstruct the controls with the bloody crates or any other crap. So this is the secret in the other room. I've already told you once and you did it again. Inspection from the top can come at any time, any day, and I'm not losing my job because of your lazy asses. Alfred Mannheim. Early this morning, I met Lucy Page on the balcony again. She was so nervous, constantly looking around, as if she was afraid that somebody might have overheard what she was about to whisper to me. Man, what whining. Laura this, Laura that. She's inexperienced. She's neglectful. She's evil. What's wrong with this old hag? Laura is a bright, outstanding scientist. She understands the project's priorities. And unlike some others, she's willing to make sacrifices. Everybody should. Progress can't be stopped. All right, you're in from this guy is. Yeah. I remember him, a young brown nose from a small island imbued with bureau ideology. Still, at least he took a shine to Laura, apparently. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to tend to agree with your assessment there, Marcus. We don't exactly see eye to eye very often, but I think you got your head screwed on straight with regards to that one. All right, this is where we now go, so it's just exit. We've got the coal. It's time to get out of here. I'm gonna have to consistently refer back to the map, though. I think the easiest way to do this so that I don't have to continue referring to the map is gonna be going out in this way. And it's through here. Excellent. You need the coal. Pop that switch. This should create enough steam pressure for the forge press upstairs. All right. 
Doesn't seem to have tripped anything down here. Let's go back upstairs. I think this leads pretty much into the exact room where we need to operate as well, so... We should be okay. We've got the template, we've got the material, we've got the power. I think that's... I think that's all of them. As in all that the game asks for. Okay. Beautiful. Uh No, it's very far away in fact. All right, crumbs. There's still something over here that I need to get to that I have no ability to access yet, but it's a chest so I know that I want it. Are you kidding me? There's no way that I let that get away from me. Crumbs. Alright. Yeah, you're pretty much doomed as soon as you came into this room, because as long as I don't act far too slow... Then you're just gonna die real damn quick. Excellent! There's my level up. Okay, now that I've got the level up, I can get both of these. So I was going for the reset chance and the energy claimed chance. Beautiful. Now, for the rest of these, I think I go blunt weapon and I kind of want to go armor. Yeah, it's got to be Blunt Weapon and Armor. Those are the only two that really make sense, especially considering my Blunt Weapon is so strong. But I'm also wondering, you know, how long is it going to be until I find a weapon that's better than my Blunt Weapon and then I just fucking change? Like, what if I find a dope fucking sword? I'm just changing that shit instantly. I have no allegiance to the weapon that I'm holding. Right, I'm going to save the game and then walk off of this. Cool. Figure that was going to be the case. Now, how the fuck am I going to get back there? Actually, hang on. Okay, so there is a path around from the other side as well. That is important to note. Just going to examine this wall from as far as I can and then go up close. Okay, just making sure. It's got to be one of these is a false wall. But I can't see any obvious trip. Like, this is the kind of thing where Grimrock would have, like, just a small, like, a small circle there. And you go, oh, shit. And then you hit it, and then it's perfect. It's just open the door. Whereas, I'm just checking pretty much all of the rivets. Which I know must make for riveting viewing. Um, all right. This is a super... Hang on. Zoom around a bit. Uh, this is a super dark room, so I could totally see something in here being it. Okay. It's not as... Zilch crumbs I know it leads out in this direction hmm. okay I'm not leaving without it the only like I've not left any area that I knew there was still a secret in I may have missed secrets so far in fact I'd be fucking amazed if I haven't but it's been really important to me that if I know a secret is in the area, I pursue it until I find it. Because a lot of the puzzles that you have to solve in order to get those secrets are some of the most interesting parts of games like this. Maybe that's... Maybe that's a toggle for a bunch of different things, and it toggles something over here as well. 
No. Okay. Well, that was a guess that I had to make. Alright, let's go back. I think I'm just going to finish as much of this floor as is possible in case that's actually like a plot hook that I have to interact with later. Hey, bud. Got him. And then there's another enemy. But you can't get in the room. Because of course you can't. Excellent. All right, gear template. There's gear. I need to put some raw material onto the platform. There's got to be something around here somewhere. Easily done. Yeah, that's my understanding of how the smelting process works as well. You just put it there. There we go. Now there are two of them. And then press it down real hard. Right, of course, that's one of my previous pieces of equipment that I don't need anymore. Now, there's still this that I don't want to push, but... I don't know what else to do. You know, I'm going to save. I'm going to push it again. And see if that helps me in any way. Yeah, I can't see another way that I would end up on the other side of that. I guess I really want to, like, throw around the corner, but that's not a thing that is possible in this game. Hmm. Huh. Oh, damn it. Hang on. I'm going to F9 that for a second. Because I think I can access the other side of that. Wait a second. Go through this way. There we go. With the two gears, I think I can access the other side of that. Wait, where are the... Where is the gear door? Crumbs. I've gotten lost again. Ah, it's so easy to get lost here. Alright. Gear number one. Gear number two. What the? All right, you want to know the big problem? I can't accept that. Because I think that means that I've left. I think that is the end of that journey. So I still have two things on this map that I need to solve before such a time arrives. Hmm. How would I pass through there? How would I pass through there? So we have seen one, one way that might work. Hang on, as I get back to that location. That's through here. Yeah. Uh, we have seen one way that might work. And that is, we've previously seen the construction of a path directly in front of yourself. So we used rope to tie a bunch of things together beforehand. Uh, and that made a new block on which we could stand. That was very, very early on in the game. I think it was in the first episode, in fact. Uh, may have been the second, where we used rope to tie together a bunch of barrels and wood planks in order to create a path. But then, if that was how we do it, why is there an entrance leading out to the left side? Oh, 
I'm going to inspect the wall a bit more. As well as this one. Because it doesn't make sense for that to be constantly firing. Why would it be constantly firing? Right? We've actually had that logic used earlier in the game. Where... I had to ask why a fireball was constantly firing if it wasn't protecting something. And lo and behold, I turned around and it was protecting something. There was there was a button that I was supposed to press, or rather a button I was maybe not supposed to press, but it was a secret button, uh, on one of the walls. Okay, so where's it best lead to? I mean, if it's going to lead to anywhere, it has to be to here. Hmm. I'm worried that I'm going to get so caught up looking for this that I'm going to miss something. Can't tell anything about that yet. Can't tell anything about that yet. Let's resave here and have another look. Yeah, it definitely goes off to the side. 100% on that one. Okay, so that still counts as a fall, even though it's got the planks on it. Okay, so it's not like... Do I have any options? Okay, so it actually won't let me throw. That's interesting. You'd think it would. I think this is something I'm going to want to ruminate on for a while. Just check a couple of these walls again and again and again. The kind of thing that wouldn't be incredibly intriguing to watch. So for the moment... My name is Ben Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Vaporum. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all of my content of the game, past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time! My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Vaporum! Alright. I found it. I think. It. See how that's a little bit of a... A gear? When I hold it there? I think that's... Yep. It's the same kind of, uh, trap... Uh, trap uh, secret, uh, ex en entrance that was on the first floor. In the very, very center of the nailed I mean it wasn't nailed screwed down struts on the wall it's hard to explain but it had to be here there's no reason otherwise that this fucking fireball creator would exist it had to be here and it had to be exactly there oh fuck yes commando harness is I can't take that I can't use that rather but the momentum has a chance to cause knockback and bonus damage. It's a shotgun um, with a 50% uh, knockback chance for 50% bonus damage, as well as the extra stun chance and stuff like that. So I think that just replaces my other shotgun. Right? Yeah, it's just better in every way than my other shotgun. Um, I guess I'll take the commando harness in case I put myself in a situation where I have to fight using tech. Uh, you, without using tech, rather. But I can't see that happening in the near future. Uh, and then there's this. Shit. I guess I should have thought... <laughs> guess I should have thought about that one earlier? <laughs> Before I started the episode? Oh, uh, well, hmm. So the thing about that one is, I guess there must be an inlet on one of these walls to go behind it. Oh, that's a long bow to draw. Hang on. See, I can't even see behind it. Like, I can't see over here. You know what? If it is going to exist, it would be there. So, you know what? Let's check, like, the side of this door. 
Nothing. Looks like nothing. There should at least be a visible button. Nothing again. Oh. Absolute charm. Guess what? Nothing. Oh, that's right. Surprised me as well. Hmm. Because that could link to behind, and then that would make sense. Dang it! Hmm. All right, let's think for just one moment here. It's a button that you can press, right? There's no obvious indication of how to interact with it. Let's just push this. Easy. Ooh. Ooh, wait a second. Okay, those need to be destroyed. <sighs> hmm. I'm thinking maybe there is some way that you can actually manipulate the enemy to accomplish this task for you. Okay. So, if I zap here, it does nothing. There's no obvious way to move around the side of it that I can see. If I push it, I have to fight the enemy. What if I push it, and instead of fighting the enemy, I just draw the enemy out of the room? Like, they chose a very specifically easy-to-manipulate kind of enemy here. And it makes no real sense for there to be an enemy in that area. Maybe... No, okay, that didn't work. I was thinking maybe if I got through that without killing the enemy, then I could somehow walk the e enemy in... S mm, okay, never mind. That, that makes no sense. Yeah, of course. I had to imagine that was not going to work. That is a solid wall. And then behind it... Another solid wall. It's just the enemy on the other side of that wall. Hmm. Alright, you know what? I think I'm going to give this one the same treatment as well. I guess I'll bring you back when I figure something out.